that pump right there. Oh. <laughs> Thank God you had this thing. <laughs> What's up guys? So I found some tires on Craigslist for 130 bucks. They're about 30 minutes away in Chino. Ali's coming with. And uh, I'm gonna go pick those up. 130 bucks, that's so cheap. They're used tires, but it's a set of four. And uh, they're 205 by 70 R15, so they'll fit perfect. And uh, let's go check them out. Hopefully they're legit. Just picked up the tires. Party. What size? 205 by 70 Sweet. Got tires on deck up in here. Alright guys, so I'm out here at the tire shop in Norco, the local tire shop. Getting uh, all four tires put on to the Miata rims I already have. They're off some NB rims. Oh, they're uh, going on some NB rims. And he charged me 50 bucks, so that's a pretty good deal. And uh, he's mounting, all, mounting them and balancing them. Uh, hopefully it turns out legit. Keep you guys updated. Wheels put on. Awesome. What's your plans with this one? Look at all that sidewall action going on. Pretty sick. Hey, I appreciate it so much. Thank you. Thank you. You too. Hey, I'll see you guys. Good luck with your build. Yeah. All right, so there's all four tires mounted and balanced, ready for the Miata. Can't wait to install them and see how it looks. Should be pretty legit. Well, let's head out, head out of here. They did it for so cheap. I'm stoked, 50 bucks. Only paid 130 for the tires. It's 180 bucks, out the door. Okay, now I'm home and I got those big old tires. So I gotta put them on the car, and to do that, I'm gonna have to roll the fender just a little bit. I picked up this Eastwood fender roller um, off Eastwood's website about a couple weeks ago, two weeks ago. And it was on sale for 85 bucks, and it was like another 10, 11, 12 bucks for shipping, and it'd be like around 100 bucks. Anyway, so I have enough to roll the fenders a little bit. If you guys wanna watch a really good tutorial on that, check out the Car Passion Channel's video. Greg, he does a, a really awesome job rolling fenders. So yeah, I'm not going to do anything crazy with this one, I'm just going to knock them out pretty quick actually. Since I'm not really too concerned about fitment on this car. I mean, all the tires are clear and that's about it, I'm not really trying to get stance nation on this thing. So yeah, I'm going to roll the fenders and I'm going to go ahead and throw some new brakes on as well since I'm, since I'm going to be off-roading this thing, I want it to be able to stop. So I'm going to throw some brakes on it. And I also had to pick up some uh, one inch wheel spacers, 4x100 one inch spacers. Uh, I got all four of them for a hundred bucks off a local dude. Um, he's about 20 minutes away. I saw his ad and they're, they're brand new. So you can, about, you can get them for about that same price on eBay as well. So I'm gonna have to throw those on. I already got my disc brake quiet going on. Get my uh, pads all sticky. And so yeah, let's do this. Okay, and with Miata brakes, you have to set the drag. So there's a little Allen key in the back, which you would have to undo to take off the brake pads or loosen up. Anyways, so you want to go perch all the way until this doesn't move anymore. Perch fully tight and then go like a half a turn uh, out at a time and just until it moves freely. So I like to grab the tire that was just on it, the wheel that was just on it. Put it back on. Right now, the drag's pretty good on it. It could go a little bit looser, but that's about it. I'm also gonna grind out this little area right here where the front of the wheel would be on the back of the car. Uh, just because of the clearance, I couldn't even fit a finger in between here when I uh, test fitted the big tire. So I'm gonna go ahead and notch that out a little bit. Okay, got that nice and uh, even to where there's already a little notch mark anyways. And uh, you're gonna wanna go ahead and paint that. Any area you grind down on your car, you wanna paint it as soon as possible before it flash rusts or 
it's any kind of a corrosion going on. So go ahead and I'm just gonna hit with some quick red real quick after I roll this fender. All right, I got it set up how I want it. Now I'm gonna heat this area up and uh, go ahead and start rolling the fender. Okay, as you can see, the fender has been rolled now. Let's see if we can get some, well, the light's not very good in there, but let's see. Oh, you guys really can't see that. Maybe from this angle. All right, the fender is totally rolled underneath. It did chip a lot of paint, cause uh, I don't know, I think cause the last paint job was really cheap. He said it was like a $99 one in Mexico. So yeah, but it's totally rolled underneath. Had the heat gun going on it. And uh, fender is now rolled. So uh, let's throw on that wheel spacer and that tire. Oh my gosh, look at the little beehive started forming in this thing. Serious? That was fast. Look at that, see it? Whoa, wasp. The wasp's nest started forming. Oh, I don't know if you can see it. Right here. That was fast. I had this thing sitting here for like a couple days. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Wow, that looks good. Looks pretty crazy, it's still on the jacks. But uh, let's do the front one. Okay, of course there's a lot of Bondo in this thing. It's a Bondo bucket, so that roll didn't really come out too good because it's cracking. It has a lot of body filler in there. What do you think, Robbie? I don't know. I think you better get a different car and try it. <laughs> what? <laughs> no. The back's looking fresh, though. It's not like you don't have another one. What's this over here, Josh? It's uh, back there. <laughs> that's, 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 that's another project. You can do it to my car. So yeah, about to throw the new brakes on it and the wheel spacer and the wheel. So after I put the wheels on, I was still having some uh, fitment issues. My uh, tires were rubbing against the back of my fenders. So I went ahead and cut out one side already. I'll show you how I'm going to cut out this side. I kind of have a template, basically, a piece of metal from cutting the other side, the other side I just freehanded it. And I'm gonna do the same thing to this side. So I'm basically just gonna be removing this section right here. And yeah, like I said, this is the piece of metal I cut from the other side. I'm using it as a template, got my Sharpie. Gonna line it up. Okie dokie, and that's removing just enough material for me to be able to turn. <laughs> Again, I'll remove the two 10 millimeters on the bottom on your fender. In my case, only one. Okay, after removing this 10 millimeter, you should be able to pull your fender back. A bunch of crap fell out of mine, a bunch of dirt and leaves and stuff gets trapped on there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting.
And there you go, the piece is now cut off. It's pretty hot, but there it is. And I'm gonna go ahead and trim up the rest of this uh, splash guard, or uh, fender, whatever they're called, plastic piece. And then hammer the rest of this in, just to have a little more clearance. Just doing some trimming as I go. You don't want any short pieces hanging off that are going to snag on your tire. <clears throat> okay, now the fender is pretty much all banged out and I know the wheel will fit. If you want to, you can go the extra mile and put some uh, red paint over all this exposed metal so it doesn't rust. Um, yeah, and then lower your wheel back on. Now I'll show you how much clearance I'm going to have. Tons of clearance. So yeah, that was one extra little thing I had to do when I was uh, getting my tires to fit. Anything to say, Robbie? Yeah, you should show the clearance, how low my car is compared to yours. <laughs> yeah, let me show that really quick. Let me turn off this radio. He needs a break. Let's see. All right. So here's my Uncle Robbie's Miata. He has a 1.8 also. And then here's my Miata, the Baja Miata. So the difference is pretty crazy as far as height goes. <laughs> Miata's getting an alignment. What the heck is Baja Miata? What do you mean? What do you think, Riley? Yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> Pretty sick, huh? Tallest me out I ever seen. Okay, so the lift kit's on, the tires on, got alignment, spacers, all that stuff. And we're out here on the trails of Lake Arrowhead with Allie, my little brother Matthew, and my father. So yeah, we're doing a little, <laughs> we're doing a little test drive, and this thing's just performing great. It's covered right now in a uh, dust. My dad's been hauling around in his Jeep Wrangler. I've been trying to chase him. But man, this thing's holding up great. No overheating issues. No issues at all, actually. Me and Ali got air a couple times, and uh, all good times. So, so far on this Miata, it's like 10 out of 10 in my book. It's really crazy. It's really fun. Sit down. Not a, oh, uh-oh. I think he's done, though. I think he's done, though. Is he? Oh my gosh. I think he's oh, is he gonna make it? Oh my goodness. Oh, I can see it from there. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Oh, he's going up higher. <laughs> oh, oh, come on, Josh. Come on, buddy. Oh, oh no. Oh, my gosh. That's crazy. He does. Oh, oh. 